morning everyone and welcome back to craft eccentricity and we're going to make a card today yes we are so first of all i'm going to get my scruffy map down there because we're going to do some gluing and we're going to be using this stamp set that i shared yesterday and i'm using this one and the little uh, note edge die that comes with that i'm using the thank you from the pumpkin set that i shared and we're going to do uh, the autumn stuff including the dies and I did share those yesterday right now inks that I've used today are Wendy Vecchi archival in acorn I've also used her peat moss I've used distress in um, oh, what's it called fossilized amber and distress in black soot so there's my little mini archivals and that's what I've already used now I've got myself all prepared and I've got myself a square base so this is going to be a really quick card so my square base you can see is all ink splashed and that's done using this tape that I shared in a haul uh, a few weeks ago you know let me unravel it and you can have a look so I'll take that off I thought I was peeling it then so it's all like coffee stains and splashes and it's adhesive tape uh, a little bit thicker than packaging tape is the way that I would describe it and it's just great for creating little backgrounds so that's what I used I used two pieces and up the centre there you can just barely see it there's a slight gap now that's not going to bother me because I'm going to create a little cluster out of my stamps and die cuts um, that should cover that bit up so that is the base it is glossy there you go you can see that slight gap in the middle and I've used craft card stock so I'm just popping that over there right so the first thing that I did and I do want this to be right at the bottom is the little note card die and stamp and I want you to see just how lovely they stamped so I want that as my first piece and then the next piece this is using all of those ink colors that i just shared is the leaf one there you go now my die cutting when i'm putting out stamps i have to tell you it's not particularly brilliant so you know you have to forgive me right and i want that to go there so we're creating a cluster so we can glue as we go and then i can use foam to pop it up afterwards so i can see I want a little bit of glue in that area and it's just like putting together your own little jigsaw puzzle so I'm gonna go there I mean it's nice to have your card you know just up at the side so that you're making within your card frame you don't want to go bigger and you don't necessarily want to get too small either and then these are the oak leaves and these are stamped in fossilized amber you'll notice I haven't done any coloring and I didn't want to I just wanted my stamped outline because I just think they're so pretty so I'm having a blob of glue there and then I'm just gonna kind of manipulate it I know that I'm going for square so I've got that there and this is if you're ever doing it that just absolutely the best way to put all your bits together and um, you'll notice that because I only put glue in little places you can tuck other stuff in that's really important and then I'm going to go for my little blend of yellow underneath there so I'm going to go about there just a little bit of glue and then I'm going to scoot it underneath again so that got a bit of yellow sticking out right so what we're doing is we're just building it up right my next one is this set of leaves so I think I'm going to have that one there so I'm just going to put a blob here and hoping that it's going to grab a hold so I'm going there just layer everything up and then I've got this set of leaves which I'm thinking might go here because my big feature is kind of like my acorns that are going to be you know coming off these leaves a bit like cherries 
even though they should be coming off those leaves because <laughs> I do know the difference between an acorn leaf and uh, whatever this one is I don't know what this one is might be a birch leaf so I'm going to go into there and then I'm going in with my first acorn and I can see as as I start to shift it up there's a little bit of damp glue under there I'm still within the edge of my frame so this is going to make a really nice little central piece and then I just need glue onto the stem and then glue on this stem just want those two touching almost like cherries and then I've got my little thank you which I want to dot onto one of the leaves and I kind of think I want that to be I don't know kind of lost in things about there yeah why not so a little bit of glue on there and I'm going to pop that on there make sure it's straight and I think that is yep right I'm gonna pause for a second so that that can properly dry and we'll come back and put the foam on the back okay so I've just moved my scruffy mat out of the way there and you can see we've got a nicely held together cluster so I'm just gonna flip that over because we're gonna make it pop up off the card and we're gonna stick our foam if you've got any of that um, toner stamping ink then you could foil them all and uh, wouldn't that look fabulous so I want to make sure this is well supported because we did only use a little bit of glue stick that one there and then you can just cut bits that fit your bits so make sure you're looking to see that there's no gap so that you've got no foam showing through. Um, I know I want support on those little acorns at the bottom. So I'm going to go there. This is a great way to do little flower arrangements on cards as well. Just make your clusters up and then add your foam. And you can see exactly where you're going. Nice little piece there, and then I'll pop a small piece there. Let's go there. Right, we're going to take all the backs off. And I do hope everyone's going to have a wonderful day today. I'm going outside to do some more weed killing. We've got this awful grass i don't know what it's called crab grass or something it's really fine and it goes everywhere on runners and at the moment it's in my orchard and strangling my trees so i've got to go and get that out i've got my little um garden bench you know that you kneel on <laughs> and i'm telling you the older i get the more i need it right let's get our little cluster so I've decided mine's going like this. So I want to find where roughly the center is. And I'm going to go there, I think. Just pop that down. And then you've got a quick, really pretty, that didn't take much effort. It's just stamping in your different colors. And you got a nice little awesome thank you card. Didn't even have to do anything for the background because that's tape, yeah. And if you've got some, you know, printable uh, papers that are similar, you could do exactly the same. But you've also got a little space within your note here because, uh, of course, I donate all my cards. They could write somebody's name, you know, who might have done something nice for them. So their name could go there and just to say thank you. But it was so easy and the stamps are just beautiful. Right, I'm going to straighten up my little bit of paper that I've got under there. I've got myself some new scrapbook paper. And I thank you so much for joining me. Do have an absolutely awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.